All right, troops, VR Vampy here, and welcome back to the Cat Lady Part 5 recap. Because we're all excited about a recap. In the last episode, we met a new character called Mitzi. Um, she was the person who saved us at the beginning when we tried to take her own life and she phoned an ambulance for us. Um, we found out that she broke in because she heard the cats howling and she knew there was something up. We find out that the reason she wants to stay with us is because she's looking for a man called the Eye of Adam who basically um, cyber bullied her boyfriend into committing suicide by using some sort of gas that's mixed together um, and she found out that he lives in Susan's apartment building but doesn't know exactly what number it is. Um, we also met a neighbour who was an arsehole um, we're shouting at us for playing the piano for about, about two minutes. And um, he called pest control. And we're kind of jumping back and forward because uh, for some reason this pest control person has kidnapped Susan. Um, and now we have a crazy couple that we have to deal with. So let's, um, let's do that. Because that's fun. All right, Susan. Let's do this and let's not die. Um, should I really be walking about like this freely? Because I kind of... Oh, it's a cat grabber. I don't take that. I kind of feel like we shouldn't sneak in. Why are we sneaking in? Alright. Oh, shit. Now I see why we're sneaking in. Is it written in here? A bucket? It's an empty bucket. Okay. Look at the window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Well, that was handy. Um, gun locker, collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one. But they're all right next to him, he'd wake up for sure. Alright, let's uh, back up and leave. Uh, so let's go upstairs. Is on. Clock. Salmon. No grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Open. Oh. Yeah, like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside, I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Alright, it's needed to be so sarcastic, Susan. You know. We we'll go upstairs. There are only bedrooms up there, I better stick to the ground floor for now. Alright then. I'm trying to help here, Susan. I really am. Video. We don't make them like this anymore. Good to know. Look outside. All I see is fog. I could never find my way home. Sofa. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Okay. Oh, I'll turn that on. Hmm, nothing happens. I need a new light bulb. I should look around for one. So, basically, we, we can't enter that waiting in here because it's too dark, so we need to get a light bulb. Right, Susan? Got a light bulb. I'll just make my way to the court right now and pick one up. Okay. Can we, like, just leave? Oh, we can. Bye. <laughs> See ya. What's that? Part of the wall is badly damaged. He had probably driven his van into it once. Damage as it is, I can't quite pull the brick out with just my fingers. Can we use the grabber? I'm sure I can find a better use of that. So that would be a no. Here. Oh, I better not go that way. Something tells me that's just trying to escape and oh, we're going to get extremely lost. Okay, let's see. Small window. 
glass on one side if the window is broken so this is where the draft is coming from inside you can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair all right search back the van i'm almost glad i was unconscious when he brought me here through the window i can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere but the back door is locked i wonder if i can find a spare key somewhere where are we going to find a spare key what is it driver's side look in Door's locked, but I can see he left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I could get hold of it somehow. Well, if we could get the brick, we could break the windy. But for some reason, you're too weak to get a fucking brick, Susan. Right. Empty wine bottles. You like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red wine with your medium rare cat steak. <laughs> Lovely. Examine. This is where she cooks dirty pans. Still stink of old cat stew. Yeah. Okay, That's what I like to have it. It's blunt. Oh, I'm wondering if the if it's blunt means we probably can use it to defend ourselves, but we might be able to get the brick out with us. Ah, going ourselves, Susan. Right, okay, so maybe we can break the window, the brick. Yes, okay, so then I should have to find another way. Right, what else is in there? Take the mobile phone. Is that all that's in there? Take it so. Right, okay, so who would we phone? Don't know where we are. Make a call. Right, call our Oh hush. no. No, no, no. Damn it. Oh. I can't remember my own number. Crying it loud, Susan. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Susan, you're hopeless. You're hopeless, hen. Um, is there anybody else? Maybe call the police. I don't know if that's a good idea. Because I don't know where I am. Right, let's just hang up the new. We will figure something out. Let's go back to the kitchen and go search properly. Sink. Slimy. I don't think she washes up very often. Well, she certainly looks like she doesn't open. The door is stuck, but maybe that's better. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. Good, 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 good idea. Table. Filthy remains of many meals lit at the dining table. There is a strong stench of rotten food. Why is it giving me the option of going under the table? Oh, do I need to hide at some point? Examine. Small paint of the street. Alright. Hmm, why would I need a painting? Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Um, maybe that's why they This reminds me of something. Yeah. With the Mexican The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Okay. Another flashback. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. For God's sakes, Mitzi. This is how this is how we get kidnapped, guys. This is how he kidnaps us. I, I like it how they've done it though, because um they're kinda gone back and forward, but you're kinda getting the story. And this is exactly like downfall when we come back to this place. These are even Deed flowers, the notes up there, this door, and then this was all bricked up here. That's really quite good. 
how they've done that. Mailbox, examine. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All the other compartments are locked. Okay, Susan. I wasn't asking you to steal anybody's mail. Okay, there's the van. Yeah, this is how you get kicked. Why did that make that noise? That scared the shit out of me and it was just a car. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away and not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the bright side, they say. And I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Don't be such a scary cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had <laughs> described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. That's how we get kidnapped. Alright, so we are back here. Yes. Let's see what's here. Oh, this looks lovely. Is this where they wash? This water looks very odd, like a mixture of dark melted fat and petrol. One more. What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Ooh. What am I looking at? Oh! Ooh. Ooh, there's a bloated person in there. Well, it's lovely. The water's absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me rich. Yep. Right, don't examine that again. There is no way I'm putting my hand in the water. To get the key, I would have to touch this person too. I've seen many dead bodies in my life. This one is definitely the creepiest of them all. <coughs> right, let's use our cat scratcher then. Can, can we do that then? Please, please, Susan, Susan, please. Yes! Yes, we have a key. Right, okay. What's in here? <gasps> well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Susan, run. Oh no, shit. Susan, run. Susan. Oh, you're having... Well, it's a good thing we're immortal, guys. Let's go again. Um, what was the key I got? Spare key, spare key to what? It's like a car key. All right. Um. All right. Cool. So we need to right. Let's go to the car because I take it we're no driving away but I probably need something to the back of the car. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Ha 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 ha. Do I take both of them since both of them are do I still have my cloth? Yes. Awesome. Where was that? In here wasn't it? Right, so Let's go into this room and put the two bulbs in and then we should be able to investigate this room further. Um, use. Awesome Susan. Awesome. Blossom. No. Is there a phone there? 
Oh no, it's my phone. Oh, there is a phone there. Well, what's the point of that? If it's an old phone, it looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with the number on the base. Okay. Is that a thing? I made a noise, guys. I'm guessing that's a thing. I'm not sure where it's a thing for, but it's a thing. Hooks. Find Susan's number. Hmm, now we can phone home! Right. Um, phone. Um, me. Oh, that number set your phone. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Come on, Mitzi. Hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? Um, I'm, I'm, I've been kidnapped? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? Because you left me. You only me. went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I have found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... Mitzi. Oh, and it's to God. What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask, got it? Yep. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. I, I like your confidence. I really do. But, you know, I'm also going to die. Right, so, um... We need to get his gas mask, which um, I'm thinking maybe now that we've got the key to the van, it might be in the van. So I also think this picture could be used for the window to stop the ventilation so we can um, um, basically gas him. Brilliant. This should stop the draft in the cellar. Right. So we've done that. Um, use key here. Uh, search. Jesus, what a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems an idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He's brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. Right, so we have the gas mask. The issue is, I think where she is, is the pesticide is there. So we have to work out a way to get her come out so we can go in with our killing us. Wrong way, Jen. And the only way I can think of doing that is calling the house number, because this is clearly their house number, then hiding under that table. This is what I think I'm supposed to do. Oh, hold on, I was going the right way. Dining rooms in here, and right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to that dining room. What's that dining room in here? No, can you open? I'm trapping. So we're going to go into that dining room. That's the cellar. So it's going there. 
must have been here. Um, we're going to hide under the table. Hopefully she'll go by. So let's phone this number first because I noticed it's there. Right, phone's ringing. Right, um, get under the fucking table, Susan! Here she comes. Walking her sexy walk. Right, now we need to hurry up. Susan, Susan, hurry up. Come on! We ain't got time. We need to get out there, grab the pesticide, and get back to the table before she comes back. I still hear the phone ringing, so we're alright the now. Yes. Right, run. Susan, that's no running, that's just walking. And right now, we should be running. Right, quick, well, let's get back under the table. Right. Bone stopped, so hopefully. Yes, we have made it. God, this animation is so creepy sometimes. Right, Susan, put it the table, hen. Right, so I'm reckoning um, the bucket that's in the room with the guy is where we're going to mix these chemicals. First, we need to put our gas mask on. So let's put it in here first. Right, let's get the gas mask on. Where? Don't need it right now. Fine. Alright, Susan, we'll wait until we're actually in the fucking room. Right. Where? Thanks, Susan. Okay, so let's go to the bucket. Let's put the bleach in. Let's get the pesticide in. Um, yes, here. Thank you, Susan. Make sure the door's closed. Take that! Oh shit! We have a gun! So let's go and deal with the crazy nurse. Susan, you could have probably put the gas mask on, but it makes this whole thing look pretty cool. Um, where'd she go? Oh yeah, Jesus, Susan! Huh? Ooh. Gone. <laughs> Do you know where I've been? I've been for the broken machine. I love the music in there. Another chapter over. We are now on chapter five. Some flowers never bend towards the sun. Okay. Oh, hi. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. I'm all are right. you all right? How did you get back? I walked. You 
You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I, I saw the way him a monster. I actually thought they were going to kiss there, and I was going to be like, "What is happening?" Okay, so, um, can we take a bath now, Susan? Okay. Great, Susan's got her knockers out. Made it and fun. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. Um, my choices here, guys, are I'm naked here, you know, whatever it is, it can wait, or you can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. As a lesbian, I am not asking that. I'm naked here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. But it can't. I need to know, Ms. A. Well, tough. I'm trying to relax here. I want some peace and quiet, if you don't mind. And I don't like people seeing me naked. Fine, not a problem. I'll just ask you through the door then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup and chocolate spread. You're doing what? Pancakes. You need some food, Miss A. When was the last time you ate? I the burger. can't remember. See, you need a good meal. That'll cheer you up. Why would that worry you? You're funny, Miss A. You want to know why? It's because I care about other people. And I believe nothing spells TLC better than sweet pancakes and a cup of hot green tea. Keep your green tea. Um. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that would be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. <laughs> I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we've got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them? How is that even possible? Well, Susan's what region. can I say? I'm very likeable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. Yeah, Susan. You saddo. Mm -hmm. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, I probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young.
Jason looks a lot more relaxed this time. Let's see what a friend does. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Do us some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. All right. Let's have some coffee. In fact, this might be a lot of talking, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, because I know, genuinely, once we get by a chapter and all the puzzles are worked out, there's normally a lot of story. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode guys, if you did leave me a like, leave me a comment, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my PC and VR content, please subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.